everyone, it's Finnovation. In this video, we're going to be showing you three awesome vacuum chamber experiments. Now, the obvious question is... The obvious question is, where did you come up with such a great idea for a video? I didn't. T.L. Shine left me this comment. Thanks for the comment and suggestion. Now, let's get right into the video. In this video, we're actually going to be doing some air pressure experiments. So, we're going to be using a vacuum chamber. So, we're going to put some things in and kind of describe how the air pressure works and what's happening. Let's get right into it. All right. So here is our vacuum chamber, and the first thing we're going to be trying is a balloon. So I've got my dad right here, and he's going to um, start pumping, and we're going to see how this expands. Whoa! Oh my gosh! It's already filled up like the whole jar. I think that's about as full as we're going to get. Look at that. All right, now we are going to stop, and we're going to see how it deflates. If it does deflate, it might just, because it sticks to the side, let's see. Whoa, it's really got a seal in there. Three. Whoa, okay, so it definitely did shrink back in size. And because the balloon made a seal around the bottom, the bottom didn't expand, but the top sure did. That was really cool. The next thing we're gonna be trying is some shaving cream. Gillette Foamy for sensitive skin. Hashtag not sponsored. All right, so we're just gonna add some in there and hopefully we're just gonna do a bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just plug it right up and screw on the lid. Now, hopefully this should expand because it's mainly filled with air. All right. That's the theory. Three. Whoa. Whoa. All right. This is really going. Wow. Okay, so it's still going. Whoa. All right. I think it's about stopped. That's gone pretty far. All right. I'm going to see if I can pull off the top now and get it to shrink. Whoa. That like exploded. That, that was, was crazy. Cool. We might have to do that one more time. Maybe in a slow-mo. All right, the next thing we are gonna be trying are some marshmallows. So as you can see, we've got three in here. And once again, I have my dad on the pump. And whoa, whoa, whoa. They are getting really big. All right. I see that's about as big as we're gonna get. But if we stop pumping here, Thank you for that. Those are really fluffy marshmallows now. All right, I'm, I might be able to get the top off. Let's see. Whoa, <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my gosh, those marshmallows went from like huge to small and like really, that was cool. Wow. You may be wondering, how does this work? So first off, the air gets sucked out by the vacuum chamber. And because the universe doesn't like having nothing in an area, the marshmallow expands to fill that area. So of course this is just a basic idea, but that's how it works. All right, now here's how we made our vacuum chamber. First off, this is just a mason jar. Then on the top, we have a nozzle from an old bike tire. And we drilled a hole through the top of the mason jar and then we just um, soldered it in there. We also used hot glue around the outside to get a little bit better of a seal. Now, for our pump, what we did was we reversed the little valve in there, we just flipped it around, and then also we've kind of sealed up everywhere that there are cracks with hot glue in hopes that it makes it a little bit better, which it did, so that this can be as good of a vacuum as possible. We also removed the valve seal on the bottom and dropped the BB into the nozzle. Right there, yep so that the BB, when it's being sucked up, it'll be sucking in like a vacuum cleaner, and it'll lift the bead up so that there's area for it to go through, and when it's not, gravity takes it back down and keeps it at the bottom. Well, I'm gonna put a video in the description that we use to follow, and really great video. If you wanna make a homemade vacuum chamber, go check it out, it's worth it. Wow, that was really interesting. It was really awesome to see the marshmallow double in size and then shrink back again. Marshmallow Finn, that reminds me of a joke. Oh, boy. What did the Hershey bar, the marshmallow, and the graham cracker use to communicate? I don't know. What? S'mores code. Oh, that's terrible. Whatever. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!